Okay, so in this video we're going to cover a mail merge letter which is on page 8 of 21 in your learner's guide. Now if you have a look here, this um, normally once a month with this hotel, um, the commissions from referrals made from travel agencies are paid up. Now, so what your financial controller who's in charge of all the finances and the money in the business um, has asked you to write the letter for the checks that are being sent out to these businesses. Now, um, because it's quite a large company, you need to send um, at least 10 different letters in this scenario. Um, so, if you came to class, then you understand what the purpose of a mail merge is. So, what we're going to do in this video is we're going to actually go through how to um, set up your template and how to set up your data file and your secondary letter as well. Um, so what you'll need to do is in the template you'll need to actually type this into um, as part of the contents of your letter. Um, therefore your data file these are the people that will be sending out these letters to and the details about these businesses. So this will be important to you for your data file. So um, what you'll do is go back to that area for assessment resources and fresh e, then click on um, oh, so you'll click on Hasanova templates to install it again. Um, I have prepared one earlier and typed out the information here. Now, just like any letter format, you want to make sure that you put in the um, the right details, so the date, the um, company name, company address in the city. Dear sir or madam, so we'll just add a, our spaces here just to tidy it up a little bit more. And usually, for your sincerely, you want to leave enough space so that there's um, space for the signature to be done in the letter. Okay, so we've tidied that up now. Um, first, before we start on anything else, let's just make sure that we save that into our OneDrive. Um, just like you've done with the um, previous one. So if we go back here and find out which task that was. So this is task D. So you open up that folder again, type in task D, and that is mailbridge. What we'll call this one is primary. And you'll understand why in a moment. So that's just saving onto our OneDrive Online. Cool. Now what we're going to do here is we're going to start by going to this tab here, Mailings. Start Mail Merge. And then we'll start the step-by-step -step mail merge um, wizard. So this this little fella here actually makes it a little bit easier for you to control. So it's asking what type of document that we're typing out, and that's a letter. And then you click on next. Now it's asking, are we going to use a different template or the current template now? Because we've got the Hasanova design already here, um, and we've already put in our contents. Then we're actually going to use this as the current this current document as the um, file. Now it's asking us what type of um, recipients that we're using, or if, this is in regards to the data file, so we actually need to click here, type a new list. Once you've done type a new list, click on create. Now this is your data file that you're creating ultimately, so if you come back to the um, workbook in the page after that, which is page 9, this is the data file that you need to create. Now. You'll notice here what's different about these um the names of these columns are different from here so we need to change that so the first column really needs to be um agent so what we can do is we can actually customize this so you go customize columns and there's nothing here called agent so what we might do here instead is we might actually name rename this one agent and then the second column here needs to be PO box number so we rename that PO box. And then the last one here, um, city. So there's already a city here. So what we'll do is we'll just move that up just to be below um, PO box. So that, that is important that you do that. Um, now we need to go number of referrals. So you'll just rename that number of referrals. 
Add the number of referrals, you've got your hotel location. And your commission. All right. So we actually have our list here. Agent, PO Box, City, number of referrals, hotel location, and commission, just like you have here. So all you really need to do now is using that same sheet. Oh, I'm going to resize this to make it a bit easier. I'm just going to zoom out. Cool. So all you need to do here is fill in the same details. So we've got United, Travel Limited, Pair Box 224, City is Auckland, Number of Referrals is 6, um, Hotel Location is Auckland, and Amount of Commission is $2,050. Oh, just written 20000 there. I wish. So once you've done that, what you do after that is you create a new entry and then you just go and continue from there. So I'm going to um, pull, I'm going to skip this video to a part where I've actually typed it all in. And here's the list. So once you've done your list, click OK. And then it'll give you an option to save it. Um, so what you probably want to do, so you'd want to save it somewhere on your desktop. And you'd want to call this task. Let's have a look what task that was again. Task D. Oh, data file. So probably better to call it mail merge data file. We'll just save that on our desktop. That will be important for a little bit later. Okay, and then go OK. Great. Now, that's our data list, and that will be important. Why? If you go into this area, you can start creating um, insert merge fields. So where it says company name, which is actually the agent, you can replace that with company name. Uh, agent, sorry, and then their address. So I'll delete that and we'll change that to the PO box. Now I will only give the PO box number, so we'll probably better type PO, oh, PO box and then the city. So we go city here. Now where it says number of referrals, so delete this section. And we'll put number of referrals and then space here you put so forth and location and amount of commission commission and that's all you need to fill in now what this, do, what this area does, this field does, is it actually transfers all the details from the list. So whatever agent it is, what was their PO box, what was their city, and it automatically puts that information in for you so that you don't have to keep creating new um, data, data files. So firstly what you want to do now is this is going to be your primary letter, so it's probably a good idea now to go control save and save that, um, go ahead and save that onto your OneDrive. Now what we're going to do is we're going to write the letter. So if you click next to write your letter and then next to preview. So what this does is if you look here, one moment, you'll see that it gives you an option to preview what the letter looks like here. So you notice how it changes automatically to the information. Um, Kelly's first stop and you'll see that the commission changes the address changes and the locations as well as the referrals So we're going to complete the merge um, Now for the sake of evidencing it what I'd recommend instead is click on edit individual letters and go ok And what it does is actually created a separate file with every letter Which is which will make it easy for you to print out 
So what I would probably do is I'll go file, save as, and then go back to your folder. Open that assessment folder. Tasty mail merge primary. And then delete primary and make that the merge file. So that you can print the before and the after. So you click here and save. And it will save that one document. Which means that that's your mail merge done. So you'll see here if you click the primary, if you click on the merge, that's your mail merge. And that's your primary. Now there is one more thing you will need to do after you've saved both files is we need to make sure you save your data file. So you'll see, remember here that your mail merge data file is on your desktop. So if you go back to your OneDrive and then you go back to your folder. So just waiting for mine to load. So, oh, so click on here, oh, OneDrive. Small folder. Drag this file here into there. Now the reason why you want to um, keep retain that as well is because as part of your assessment evidence, you need to show your data file too. Um, but that that now completes your task for your memory.